What up guys, the Crypto Homie, back at you with another video. Today, we're going to look at the latest Ethereum news, starting off with the Forbes article titled, Ethereum is eating Bitcoin. And another Forbes article, that's they're both very recent today and yesterday, Ethereum soars 10% overnight implications for Bitcoin. And Yahoo Finance had an interesting article titled, Ethereum miners generated all time high reven fee revenue of 17 million yesterday. Guys, we're gonna check all that out and a little bit of the price action. So let's look at the chart first. Let's see the monthly chart. You know, Ethereum's holding that line as support because it seems like that's where there's a lot of price action. So as we look left, we see that. So we want to hold this uh, like $430 area. And let's look at the daily. Because yesterday, guys, Ethereum had a, had a decent move to the upside. You see this? We held that line and broke up. So that is what I like to see. So as long as you know consolidate and see another breakup, that would be great. So it's uh you know it's looking pretty good. Like I've said before, there isn't much like price action. We have to look at the weekly and the monthly to see it. There is not much price action above the four hundred and thirty dollar area. There was not not that much price action up here. That's only a handful of weeks. So guys, that's not that much. So just keep in mind that's probably about six months right there above the four hundred thirty dollar area. So we're, we're, we're making more days above that $430 area. That is what's up. So let's uh, dive into these articles. You know, Ethereum is eating Bitcoin. This one, we're going to go over in the next article, like what, like what this is all about. But uh, what do you guys think? You know, Ethereum's eating Bitcoin. Like, like what does that mean? So uh, diving more into the article of Ethereum stores, 10% overnight implications for Bitcoin. So these, ar these articles go hand in hand. So... It says, since last Friday, Ethereum has increased by over 20%, further padding its 2020 gains. Ethereum has been one of the brightest stars in the current bull market for digital assets, gaining 261% in 2020 compared to 65% for Bitcoin. Guys, I guess they're not including YFI and all these other altcoins that have made, you know, thousands and thousands of gains. But anyways, still, still it's gains. It says, the principal driver for ETH's growth have been the enormous boom in decentralized finance, DeFi. Given the majority of the DeFi networks are built atop of the Ethereum platform. For example, the alphabet soup of hot tokens, the, y, the YFI, Yam, and Sushi, just to name a few, have experienced me meteoric prices increases. So look, uh, over 100,000%, you know, 400%, 1,300%. Like that's, guys, those are some serious gains to be made. Let me know down down in the comments below if you've made over a hundred thousand percent this year, because that's uh that's really good gains. But then, it, like it goes on saying, most importantly, the DeFi boom has a, a, occurred, a accrued value to Ethereum via greater development interest, building the next unicorn DeFi token on Ethereum rather than competitors. This dynamic can be visualized by the total value lockup, the TVL on DeFi which has dramatically increased from less than 1 billion to over 9 billion in 2020. You guys can see the TVL chart. I mean, that just skyrocketed right there. That's uh, like, let's see if it can keep going. But guys, basically like people are, they're, they're having to utilize ETH. So in this next paragraph, it kind of goes into some more detail. So let's start with that. Um, it says Josh Ozowiski, market analysis at Brave New Coin, notes that the the, the dynamic is identified, identical to the initial coin offering the ICOs back in 2017 that boom in terms of organic demand driving ETH price. For example, in 2017, if you wanted to launch an ICO, you need to buy ETH to do so. Similarity with DeFi tokens launched today. Thus, until the speculative frenzy for DeFi cools, ETH's price could conceivable rise back to 2017 levels. Guys, there's a, this guy saying that Ethereum could rise back to the $1,400 area. Whoa, I mean, and I don't know about you guys, but if it, if, if it can hit $1,400 again, I could see it hit way higher than $1,400, maybe a possible $2,000 ETH. What do you guys think about a $2,000 ETH? Let me know down in the comments. So guys, and then, so just, so now that we've got that, like this part out of the way, that's kind of means what it means by Ethereum is eating Bitcoin. So people can't, like when they're selling all these DeFi projects, they're typically selling back into Ethereum, not Bitcoin. So that's where, you know, Ethereum is eating the Bitcoin. That's kind of where the title comes from here. So guys, moving on, 
to the Yahoo Finance article, the Ethereum miners generated all-time high fee revenue of $17 million just yesterday. Guys, this article was published September 2nd, 2020, so that's today. And these articles were also published very recently, September 1st and September 1st. So it, it's the latest news, guys. But let's just dive into this thing, you know, like the highest fee revenue, well, 17 million bucks in just one day, like, whoa, like what's going on there? It says Ethereum miners are gaining big as transaction costs or gas fees continue to rise amid decentralized finance boom, you know, the DeFi boom. According to the block research, Ethereum miners generated all-time high fee revenue of $17 million yesterday. The figure is 3.7 times higher than the previous high, the previous highest amount record during December 2017 and January 2018 when crypto prices went through the roof. So guys, it's 3.7 times higher back like compared to when the all-time high of Ethereum was. Guys, that is that's crazy. Um, hopefully, you know, like Vitalik and the Ethereum team can get these fees under control. Cause I mean, I, I've been hearing people say they made all this money, but then they're spending 20% of, of their gains on just paying the Ethereum fees. As nobody wants to do that, you know, that, like that's crazy. But here's just a, a chart to see exactly like you see that line over here is like sky high guys, sky high three times, three times the height of over here. So, Hey, hopefully with Ethereum 2.0, and all the upgrades they're looking to implement, hopefully they can make this work and lower those fees. And then it goes on to say, Bitcoin miners, on the other hand, generated 1.5 million in transaction fees yesterday, only 9% of Ethereum's miner fees. Bitcoin miners' all-time high during the, the D December 2017 craze was 21.4 million. Guys, keep that in mind. The, big, the highest 24 hours that miners for Bitcoin got were $21.4 million, and just yesterday, Ethereum miners got $17 million and Ethereum is not even at all time high. So, whoa, that's uh, that's interesting. It just shows there's definitely money to be made on Ethereum. So just scrolling down, this just shows the chart of the daily fees on Bitcoin. I mean, and if you look at the recent ones, it's really low compared to back in 2017. It says the surge in Ethereum fees and therefore miners could miners revenue could, could result in an increase in price of Ethereum's miners in the secondary markets according to Larry Cermak, director of the Block Research. If so, the trend could turn out to be bullish for mining chips, manufacturers such as AMD and NVIDIA. So guys, back in 2017, when you know, crypto was going crazy, everybody wanted to mine crypto, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, and everything else. And you could not get the GPUs. You could not buy AMD or NVIDIA GPUs. It just was impossible because they were selling out. The gamers couldn't buy them because people were buying them to mine. It was, if I remember correctly, Nvidia even sent out to their, to to their companies that that sell the the GPUs. They said, "Do not sell these for for mining because they wanted the gamers to be able to get them." So, guys, that's just you know interesting to see these prices are sky high. The revenue for the mining of Ethereum is sky high right now, seventeen million dollars. It's like, well, are you mining Ethereum? Are you mining Bitcoin? Let me know down down in the comments. And what do you guys think of of breaking all time high? breaking that $1,400 Ethereum area. How, how realistic in, in the near future do you guys think that's possible? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, homies, this is not financial advice. This is just pure entertainment. I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Smash the like button if you liked it and subscribe for more content. The Crypto Homie is signing out.